Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel I'm Lailia Karima And my partner is Adelia Novi Damayanti We are the students of English department Study program of Wiranegara Pegeri University And in this section, we will tell you about short story for ELT And we just focus about flash fiction for writing skills So, please attention and happy watching! Did you know what the definition of short story? Short story is an artistic form of prose fiction which is centered on a single main incident whose aim is to product a single dominant impression. So, what makes short story different from other prose fiction? First, let's think about the main difference between a novel and a short story. For a novel, novel is a journey and not only for the characters, but for the writer and the readers. And for short story, is an intense experience and also something to linger over and savor okay next is flash fiction flash fiction has many definitions depending on the editor writer or critic the first definition Flash fiction is identified by different names. Other popular names are postcard fish fiction, short short fiction, sudden fiction, and microfiction. And the second definition in terms of word count, flash fiction is a complete story written in 1000 words or less. And the third definition, a flash fiction story includes all the elements of short story or novel. The story is very short. It can be read in less than 10 minutes. As the title above, now we just focus about writing for flash fiction and how to teach it. Actually, there are many ways to teach writing for flash fiction, but according to us, there are four steps of the best ways. The first step is warm up. The second step is analysis and discussion. The third step is practice. And the last step is production. Okay, let's we go to the first step, warm up. On the warm up section, the teacher asks the students about their favorite short stories. Or maybe the teacher ask the students about what the short stories that they had already read. After that, the teacher can begin to explain about definition of flash fiction and also about the elements, uh, maybe about plot, setting, characters, and something else. In this section, the teacher should introduce flash fiction so that the students have knowledge about flash fiction and can representing it. Okay, the second step, analysis and discussion. In this step, there are three things that teacher must do. The first is teacher give the students a short story. In this step, the student should represent their knowledge through analyzing a short story that given by the teacher. And after that, the teacher makes the students in small group and asks them to analyze and discuss a short story. Actually, it depends on the teacher. It can be due in small group, in pair, or in individual. And the last, the teacher asks the students to present and explain their finding. 
There are some questions that may help them to analyze and discuss the story, such as what do they know about the plot, characters, setting, and them of the story? What question does the text raise? What is unwritten? And else. But it's just the example. The students can analyze with their own ways. Okay, this is the story that can analyze by the students. And the story from Isop with the title The Shepherd Boy and the Wolf. From this story, student should be able to analyze about the plot, the character, setting, them, and other elements. Next step is practice. In this step, the teacher can ask them to find out and then write some keyword from inside the story and instruct the students to make sentences on their own. Why sentences? Because the sentences who made by students will provide almost the same sense or information, but they should make it different structure. So it can make the students more creative in writing. And the last step is production. In this last step, the teacher can ask the students to imagine themselves as the characters in the story of the shepherd boy and the wolf and play their roles but instead of repeating the dialogue of the story. Also, they should create their own handwriting dialogue. Why? Because when the students imagine themselves as the characters, in this way, the cognition of the students will be actively involved in the production of creative writing skills. For the step of practice, how we can start it? Begin by showing the students some example of classroom literary classic summed up in six words like For the first is The times were good, also bad, in a tale of two cities For the next, you can read by yourself So, what we can conclude from this presentation? Using short story is one of the solutions for teaching writing skills. Also, can help the students to improve their writing skills because the fairy tales in the short story are imaginative and interesting. One way to use flash fiction for writing skills is asking the students to rewrite the story in their own language as the explanation above. Thank you everyone for the attention. I hope this explanation can help you. So sorry if we have any mistake and if you have any question, you can comment below see you on our next video bye